Um, a lot of times the lender can be very helpful and supportive in getting an offer accepted. Um, can you talk a little bit about that and how you guys work with um, buyers to get their offers accepted? Yeah, so first... Let's talk about getting offers accepted. First, um, you know, we pre-approve the buyer. We send out a pre-approval letter to the realtor. But really what helps the most is for the lender and the realtor to be in tandem, um, to work really close together and have a good working relationship. That typically shows to the listing agent that, hey, these, these folks work together well. They have history. Um, they seem to know what they're doing. Additionally, a good lender will reach out uh, to the listing agent that the borrower offered on and really communicate how strong of an offer it they have beyond the pre-approval letter. So, um, and just build a rapport with the listing agent, get them comfortable and sharing examples of, you know, recent transactions, not only that you've done, but you've done in that zip code or that neighborhood that really, you know, that really makes the listing agent feel good. And speaking of um, helping get offers accepted, um, what type of, um, I know you guys have come out with some new programs um, specifically around helping buyers get to the finish line. Can you talk to us a little bit about that and what programs you guys are, are rolling out for that? So we have an internal um down payment assistance program. Is that what you're referring to? That yes. it's essentially a conventional program. If you qualify for a conventional loan, three or 5% down, we automatically see if you know, you're know you a good fit for that program. Uh, and if you qualify, we just apply that credit to your closing costs. And it's currently as of today, August, 2023 is $6,500. Uh, but we're always trying to see what we can do to help, you know, reduce the out-of-pocket expense, uh, maybe lower the interest rate um, for the buyers and kind of move the process along. One other thing I'd like to add, what's important is the speed of closing. It's even though interest rates have gone up, this is a very competitive environment due to the lack of inventory. Um, really a good lender will vet out the, the borrower, their client, and work with the realtor and say, hey, they're, they're pre-approved. They're really good about getting us the documents that we need. We think we can close them in 15 days or 21 days. But if the borrower is dragging their feet and not getting us the documents we need on time, we're less likely to agree to a shorter time span. So mm -hmm. if you got a borrower who's get, you know, getting those documents in, we can communicate that to the listing agent and say, hey, we can commit to you all. We can close this loan in 15 days, 20 days. And buyers typically like that because, hey, they're they're getting their money sooner and they can move on. Or sellers like that, I should say. Mm -hmm. Can you explain the difference between adjustable rate and fixed rate mortgages? Um, 2023, I'll be talking to lenders, some of my vendor partners, um, just to give you a better idea of how the process works. So um, buying a home, selling a home. Um, I think education is very important at this time uh, to keep buyers and sellers informed about what's happening in the market. So look out for those videos. Thanks.